Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Shruti. I hope you have watched my previous video where I explain how to create a test and how to execute it with different options. If you have not watched it yet, please do watch it. It will give you a decent amount of knowledge to get started with the tool. Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about locators in Playwright. Even if you are an absolute beginner and have never worked with any automation tool before, don't worry, I will explain everything in a simple and easy to understand way. Okay, let's get started. Locator means, I will give you an example. Imagine you are in a big library and you ask the librarian to give you a book. If you just say, give me a book, they will be confused, correct? To help them, you will give more details like title of the book and author of the book. Now the librarian knows exactly where to find the book. In Playwright, a locator works the same way. It helps the playwright to find the correct elements on a web page using details like by text, by ID, by CSS selectors and XPath. Technically, locators in Playwright means simply a way to find the elements on and interact with the elements on a web page. So here elements are nothing but buttons, text fields, links, labels, drop down and many more. Finding locators is one of the important aspects of automation. If we go wrong here, our entire scripts can fail. So we need to master it. I know it takes time to get hands on, especially if you are new. My advice is whenever you get time, please pick any website and practice finding the locators. The more you practice, the better you will get. Before we can automate anything in Playwright, we first need to tell the Playwright where to find the elements on a web page. Think of it like finding a house in a city. You need an address to reach the right place, correct? Here, the address is locators. We can also say locators represent a way to find elements on a page. Playwright has recommended some built-in locators. These are all Playwright's built-in locators and we cannot use these locators in any other automation tool. They are page.getbyrule, page.getbytext, getbylabel, getbyplaceholder, getbyalttext, getbytitle and getbytestid. So now let us see one by one. First one is get by role. Each element on a web page has a specific role that defines how it behaves. Example, a button meant to be clicked, a link navigates to another page, text box accept user input, check box it allows the selection of multiple options, radio buttons allows you to select one option and combo box lets you to pick user or any options out of the list. In Playwright, we use get by role to locate element based on these roles. Let us create a test and practice this. How to create a test? Under tests folder, right click and select new file. So the name I'll give locators, locators.spec.ts, enter. So here what we need to do, we need to import two functions, import within curly braces type test comma expect and from where we need to import, we need to import from playwright test. So how to do within a single quote type at playwright slash test. Now, let us create a test block. So, how to create a test block? Test and within a single quote, mention the name of the test. I will give locators practice. Locators practice, comma, type async, async, space within a bracket and inside a curly braces, type page and arrow function, press enter and curly braces. So we created 
test block so now what we need to do we need to launch the browser so how to launch the browser await we need to use await keyword await page dot go to and go to the website so i will take amazon website i'll go here and copy the url and paste it here what we will do is let us go to amazon and let us automate this scenario let us type any product here in the search box and press search button okay let us automate this so how to automate this to automate we need to know the locator of this so how to get the locator right click on that element and select inspect okay so this is the locator of it so it got highlighted and here also we can see that it is getting highlighted it means we inspected the proper element now let me open notepad and write the locator using get by role so what we need to do we need to type await page dot get by role let us first understand the syntax or yeah syntax so in the first one in the first double quote we need to mention the role always then comma we need to mention or specify the name within a curly braces <clears throat> name colon name value or text value text value okay so this is the syntax so let us write locator for this await space page dot get by role so what is the role as we can see here it has a role attribute and it is the value is search box let us copy that and paste it here comma curly braces name so what is the name colon so this is important suppose if you have name value we can take or our first choice should be arial label we have to take always arial label text suppose if they have not given this arial label <coughs> then we can go to placeholder so in our case both are same let us copy this within single quote bracket open sorry close let us copy this and paste it in our vs code now what we need to do we need to enter the text so how to enter the text in playwright to enter the text we need to use a method that is fill dot fill we need to use dot dot fill which item we need to pass laptop let us type laptop okay so now we enter the item now what we need to do we need to click on this search button so how to do let us inspect it how to inspect right click on it and select inspect why are we inspecting it so that we can get the locator let us follow the same rule here what is the role here they have not given the role but here we can see it is a button so let us consider button not consider it is a button button and what is the name here we don't have arial label and we don't have placeholder also so now we will take we will take value so that is go let us copy this go to vs code and paste and what we need to do on this element we need to click on it so to click dot 
click there is a method that is click method bracket open close so what we have done we have identified the element that is locator to enter the uh, laptop into that uh, search field and we are clicking on the search button so now let us save this and execute how to execute npx playwright test i want to execute only this one so locators dot spec dot ts i want to open the browser and see so which option we need to pass hyphen hyphen edit and i want to execute this on only chromium browser chrome browser so project is equal to chromium let us execute this press enter what is this okay so here the spelling is wrong it should be chromium here instead of m i have given n page up press m so running one test one worker launch the browser and typed it typed but it did not click on search what it is saying okay it is saying this locator this button and name go has five matching elements what we need to do in this case that is we need to pass exact is equal to true so after go it should be inside a curly braces put comma and say exact colon true so we have to use this save and let us execute this launched amazon browser amazon page and type laptop and clicked on search we can see the result that is one test passed suppose if you want to see after clicking the web page we need to give some weight so let us give hard weight by default playwright waits for element so this is one of the feature let us wait and give hard weight that is a weight page dot wait for wait for timeout and mention uh, suppose I want to wait for five seconds I'll give five thousand save this is for hard weight and it is not recommended let us execute it launching amazon type laptop and here we got the result laptops 